All right, hey guys, OFD checking in here, and today we've got a watch from Sangamon Watch Company out of Springfield, Illinois. Now, this is a new watch company, guys, developed back in 2019. I did have one of their watches on the channel before. I had one of their um, Lincoln's River collection. I had this one on the channel. I actually showed it to you guys. Kind of a bigger dress watch from them. They do commemorative style watches. All their watches kind of have a, a theme or a story behind them. Another one they've just recently released is the Omaha Beach Collection. Obviously, um, representative or... or you know, uh, commemorative watches to the Omaha Beach invasion back in World War II. So, guys, I've got this new one out sent out to me. So I've got the camera zoomed out here so we can kind of look at the box and the packaging. It comes really nicely done, double box. I'll go ahead and let this kind of box slide out of here and get it off of there. Really tightly uh, done in there. Let me throw that to the back, and we'll go ahead and get the double boxing out of here. Now, this is going to be kind of a giveaway here as to this watch. Uh, inside of the bottom of the box, you have a couple of things down here. Um, some comm commemorative memorabilia or whatnot. You can see Route 66. So this watch is a commemorative watch for Route 66. Uh, Sangamon, the company themselves, they're actually stationed out there in Springfield along Route 66. And if you guys know that, that road travels throughout the United States, covers the U.S. As a matter of fact, a lot of times when I'm staying down in Southern California, I stay along the historic Route 66. I mean, uh, anymore nowadays in a lot of places, it's just a road going through the middle of nowhere or going through the middle of town with uh, targets and, and uh, fast food on it. But in a lot of places, it's still got a lot of history to it and a lot of neat things. So let's go ahead and check out the Mother Road here from Sangamon. That's the name of this new release. I'm going to go ahead and bring the camera up a little bit closer so we can check this out. So they've got four different colorways available. This is the brown and the gold case here. Uh, they've got a white dial, a black dial, a navy blue dial, and also a tie-dye dial the tie-dye uh, dial is to commemorate the historic Cadillac Ranch, which is located along the historic Route 66. So, guys, we have a sapphire crystal here, and we are going to be getting a lot of reflections off of it here. I'm going to go ahead and get it off the pillow, get it a little closer to the camera, and we'll talk more about it. All right, so we have it off the pillow, and we got it up here a little closer to the camera. This is a domed mineral crystal, or excuse me, sapphire crystal on this watch with AR coating. So, guys, it is going to get quite a bit of reflection here in the studio. I did shut off any... Auxiliary, auxiliary lights I had on here to try to cut, cut that down. But let's go ahead and get the specs out of the way on this watch. So you got a 45 millimeter case from side to side on this watch. So it is a big watch, 53 lug tip to lug tip. Comes in at a manageable 12 millimeters of thickness. And I do believe you have a 22 millimeter lug opening if you do decide to change out the strap. Comes on this really, really nice rally style leather strap, very thick leather. Very, very nicely done. Uh, looking at the dial on the watch, you can see where this is going to be kind of hearkening to Route 66. You can see this dial is set up here. Now, to me, guys, I used to be a car guy. I'm still into cars, but I used to really be into cars as a kid. This is a, a five-spoke American-style mag, uh, mag, magnesium wheel here with the old mags, they call them, uh, back in the day in the 60s. But that's what that is is really representing, is that old American five-spoke uh, wheel there. You can see it's got a date window there at the 3 o'clock position. Pretty simple and legible dial, to be honest with you. You don't have a whole lot going on here besides the five spokes of the wheel and the Sangamon logo up there at the 12 o'clock position. But definitely a usable dial. You've got your 12 minute track here on the bezel, which is non-turning. Yeah, it's a non-turning bezel. And you have a, a 60 second track around here. And actually, it's not 60 seconds. It is 120 here. I'm not sure. I'm sure this is to be used like as a tachometer. I think that's the function on that there. So it's going to be a tachometer style function on that index ring, which I didn't notice quite at first. A non-screw down crown on this. So you can wind the watch. It is a hacking and hand windable movement. This is running what you would expect these days in a um, micro brand movement. This is running the classic Seiko NH35 movement. So you've got 24 joules, hacking hand windable, a date function over there, and it's got about a 40 hour power reserve on this watch. So uh, some of the other colorways guys are using a silver case. This is using this, what I believe is like a PVD coated, but it almost gives off this bronze look to it. Really, really good looking case here on the watch. Show you the strap and the buckle assembly a little bit more. <clears throat> Very nicely done. The buckle assembly, of course, is matching the, the, the watch case, saying along there, engraved on it. Genuine leather, like I said, on the strap, and very thick, very thickly done strap on the watch. So on the back, you have this deeply engraved, or almost what I'd consider like oil-pressed case back with the Route 66 in there, done really, really nice. Uh, gives you all the information. Mother Road there. The uh, I guess this would be the serial number Japanese movement, which, of course, is the NH35 316L stainless. 50 meters of water resistance, and you can see the four screws that are actually holding the case back on this watch. So 
really neat looking piece. Let's go ahead and uh, get this one on my seven inch wrist. All right guys, so here's the watch on my seven inch wrist. Now we're not gonna go out with the loom shot because unfortunately this watch doesn't have any loom. I do wish they'd put some loom in the handset on this watch. That would have been pretty nice to have. So guys, these are going on sale. I do believe they're on sale right now over at the Sangamon website, all the different colors of them, the white, the blue, the red, the black, and the tie dye. Um, not the red, there's not a red, there's a brown. I meant the brown, which you're seeing here on the channel, but good looking watches. The price on these is $299 is the MSRP. I know they did have an early bird price, I think of $289, but I think they've gone to their regular price right now, $299 at this point. So this one will be going to Marshall Time over his channel, so check that out. I'll leave a link down below in the bottom, but cool looking watch, guys, representing Route 66 that travels throughout the United States, historic uh, roadway throughout the United States. So all right, guys, you like the video, give me a thumbs up down there at the bottom. And if you've not subscribed to the channel yet, please do. Please do. Thanks, guys.